Hello student, welcome to my video class. Uh, in today's video, in this video, particular in particularly in this video, we are going to do workout examples on inverse of a function. Uh, actually, we have done theory portion of inverse of a function on previous video, and if you have missed that video, then uh, the link is given on the description below. You can check it out, and you can come back and do workout examples on inverse of a function. Uh, so let's move forward. Uh, to first to our first example our first example is on your screen uh, there is a function f uh, which is defined as a set of ordered pair and now let's start the solution now the our given function is uh, is defined as a set of ordered pair And if the function are given as a set of ordered pair, then it is uh, it will be very easy uh, to find the inverse. Now let's see. To find the inverse, I am reading uh, what is on your screen. If the function uh, is in the form or given in the form of ordered pair pairs, uh, just interchange uh, the position of pre-image and image. Now, before we interchange, we, we must know what is pre-image and what is image. Uh, actually, all the x part, x part means a, y, a, b, and c. Uh, these are antecedent and these x, y, and z are consequence. All the consequence are images. All the consequence, you can see x, they are images. And these are pre images. They are pre images. Pre images. I have written P for pre images. So we have to change the position. Means X must come in the position of pre image. Y must come in the position of pre image. And Z must come in the position of pre image. And A must go to the position of image. B must go to the position of image. And C must also go to the position of image. And now just interchanging the position of image and pre image, we get X A, B Y, and C Z. And that is our inverse. And now just interchange the position of pre image and image that will be our inverse if the function is uh, defined as a set of ordered pair. I uh, hope you have understood. You can pause the video, you can write down on your copy, and let's uh, move to another example which is on the same slide. And you can see the example too. Uh, there are two functions defined on the real number uh, f and g and they are the inverse of each other if they are inverse of each other and as we have already studied the definition of inverse function and what does it says uh, if the two functions are inverse of each other uh, and we have to find uh, the value of f g o f and f o g here you can see f and g are inverse of each other so if the two functions are inverse of each other then their composite function the composite function will be the identity function uh, that we learn on definition of inverse of function uh, while while studying definition while studying while understanding what is inverse of function uh, in previous video we uh, learned that if two function are inverse of each other if one function contradicts the action of other function then they are inverse of each other and uh, their composition will always be identity function identity function means identity function is defined as fx is equal to fx is equal to x uh, for a single function but for a composite function also same goes uh, same goes with the composite function input and output will be equal uh, or you can say image and pre-image will be equal or you can say uh, element of the domain and element of the range will be equal uh, so the input here in, in 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 our question input is x uh, in in so our output the value of the composite function g o f x will also be x now you can see f o g x is equal to x as they are identity function by it is by definition and that if two functions are inverse of each other then their composition or a composite function a composition will be x now in another g o f case also the same so it is very simple hope you understand it's it goes by the definition okay it goes by the definition if the two functions are inverse of each other and then their composition uh, will be the identity function and if the function are identity then their input and output will be same so uh, we concluded uh, example two also and now let's mm, let's quickly move to an example uh, three now you can see on your screen example three and now here function is defined 
in a different way uh, it is not defined as a set of order pair it is given as a formula of fx fx is equal to 2x minus 3 and we have to find the inverse it is it is the first time you are going to find uh, the inverse of inverse of a function given as a formula and uh, let's see and you have to pay attention focus uh, focus is necessary you can see the given function fx is equal to 2x minus 3 by 4 and it is done uh, uh, it is done as step is shown in the first column and process uh, will be shown in next column you can see a step and process will follow simultaneously uh, you can see the first step will be we have to suppose the function given function as y isn't it uh, so our given function is fx is equal to 2x minus 3 we will suppose uh, let y is equal to x minus 3 by 4. We have to suppose our given function as y. The next step, next step is interchanging x and y. How we interchange x and y? You can see on your screen, uh, x takes the position of y and y takes the position of x. In our process also, we will we'll do the same. You can see x and y are interchanged. Instead of y, we have written x and instead of x, we have written a y. y, x and y interchanges their position. Now next step will be making y alone. Uh, see in the steps how uh, we can make y alone uh, in a very simple way in a step. We just move to f to left hand side then it becomes the inverse of f. Now if we can make y alone then that will be our inverse. So in process also we have to try to make y alone from this, from this value uh, we have to this uh, uh, this equation we have to make y alone now let's see if we can make y alone then that will be our inverse as it is shown in this step so uh, still y is not alone uh, we uh, cross multiplied with uh, with x for x is equal to 2x minus 3 y must be alone means uh, it must have only one as a coefficient and positive one as a coefficient uh, still it has minus 3 on its side in left hand side so we can change we can take that minus 3 to right left hand side it is on right hand side it, yeah, we can uh, take to left hand side and it is plus 3 still y is not alone you can see it has the coefficient 2 we need uh, y must have only uh, one as a coefficient positive one as a coefficient we can take that 2 to denominator of 4x plus 3 uh, so 4x plus 3 by 2 uh, finally we have made y alone and this y according to our step uh, is the inverse of f inverse so it is you can see f inverse x is equal to 4x plus 3 by 2 now this is the steps and the steps will be shown on the top right corner of your screen a top right corner in here you can see on your every question it will come on your every question now still we have we haven't completed our question uh, we need to solve more we have to find the functional value of f inverse at x is equal to 2 functional value of f inverse at x is equal to 2 so next F, to find f inverse 2 uh, we have we have f inverse x as uh, for x plus 3 our input will be 2 means x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 uh, it is given in the question uh, 2 is given in the question that's why we used uh, value of x to be 2 and now 2 will be replaced but uh, x will be replaced by 2 uh, you can just see on your uh, screen all the x are replaced by 2 because x is an input variable and it is not fixed it is not uh, it is not defined uh, so value of x can be uh, anything isn't it it can be uh, from plus infinity to minus infinity any value from plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity so uh, right now the value of x is 2 and 2 takes the position of x now you can see on your screen on calculation we get 4 to the 8 plus 3 by 2 and it is 11 by 2 uh, you can pause this video or uh, you can note it down on your copy uh, you can understand if you don't understand you can repeat uh, play it again you can uh, move from backward and play it again uh, you can understand you have to follow these three steps uh, these three clear steps uh, there are three steps on three st step we can find the inverse of any function now let's move to another question the question of example four the question is uh, Question is a function that is given fx f is a function and it is defined uh, as 3x minus 4 upon x minus. What is the difference between previous question and this question? Uh, here x the variable x the input variable x is present on both 
a numerator and denominator also in previous question there was um, input variable was only on numerator in denominator there was a number right but but in this question x is present on both numerator and denominator now the step will be same the process will be also same here you can see the given function x is not equal to 0 but if it is x is not equal to 2 if it is 2 then the, the function does not exist it is not defined so we must avoid the input variable uh, input we must avoid the in 2 as an input 2 must not be its input 2 is not not a 2 is not its inverse uh, input uh, we cannot input uh, we cannot put the value of x as 2 uh, then we can use all other values so our function cannot have our function must be defined as r is equal uh, x is equal to x will be all the real numbers excluding 2 x belongs to all the real numbers excluding 2 and we can write like this x is equal to it will be all the real numbers but it won't be curly bracket and two. it won't be two because it will be the function will be undefined and that's why uh, x is not equal to two now let's uh, let me delete this now these steps are same the procedure is also same a little bit there is a slight difference than previous question Now let's proceed in our top right corner you can see in the steps three all three steps which you, uh, we uh, will learn on uh, first example and the first second and three step are same steps and we will follow this step we first thing we have to suppose y is equal to given function uh, y you can see in the first two step uh, let tick this first step Yes, we did this y is equal to fx fx is 3x minus 4 x minus 2 now we have to interchange x and y yes. so let's interchange x and y see x and y got interchanged we did second step also now third step is making y alone for this uh, cross multiplication two three step more are needed uh, in cross multiplication x bracket y minus 2 is equal to 3y minus 4 now let's open the bracket we multiply xy minus 2x is equal to 3y minus 4 uh, we have to bring there are two y is it when x when input variable is on both numerator and denominator then we will get 2y in previous question where y was just on one side but here y are on both side we have to bring those both y to one side and all the remaining to another side see we did exactly same minus 2x a big plus 2x minus 4 it is on same side and xy is on same side 3y it changed its position into position it changed its side so side changes now uh, we have 2y and we have to take common uh, right here you can see y x minus 2 now we have only one y and we can we can free this y from all other values like this y is equal to 2x minus 4 x minus 3 we bring this x minus 3 to uh, a denominator of 2x minus 4 now as required our y is alone uh, we made y alone it, it has only one one as coefficient and positive one as coefficient so this is our inverse you can see f inverse x is equal to 2x minus 4 upon x minus 3 that's it uh, it's simple you just have to bring the 2y to one side if they are if they are on, on two different sides then you have to bring it to one side and take common and then um, that there will be single y and you can make it a lot uh, easily uh, now you can pause the video uh, you can this is also an important question uh, you can copy note down on your note copy and we move to the uh, next video next slide example 5 uh, example 5 it's a little bit different example uh, you can see on your screen gx it is not defined as x isn't it it is 2x minus 3 g 2x minus 3 is equal to 6x minus 1 now we know we have to find the inverse but before we find the inverse we have to do one very important uh, very important task uh, that is let's see the priorities 
our priorities are to find the gx uh, we don't have gx so we have to find gx we have to convert this function we have to change this function g 2x minus 3 the function g is defined as <coughs> g is defined in a different way uh, its input variable is not only x it is 2x minus 3 so we have to change this to gx uh, which we have already learned in class 9 then we can find the g inverse as we have already done into then we can find g inverse too so our first prior the first thing we need to do is we have to find gx let's start to find gx let z is equal to 2x minus 3 now we have to sup we have to suppose this value inside the input right now input is 2x minus 3 we have to suppose that input to be z and we have to make x along that is z plus 3 is equal to 2x then z plus 3 by 2 is equal to x so our x is along uh, we can substitute the value of x uh, on our function uh, first now you can see on your screen gz uh, from where this z came see 2x minus 3 is z 2x minus 3 is z so instead of 2x minus 3 we can write z is it it our 2x minus 3 can be written as z and this x instead of this x we have to write this value z plus 3 by 2 6 z plus 3 by 2 now x is replaced by z plus 3 by 2 uh, you can see on simplification 2 and we can cancel 6 and it will be 3 3 and on multiplication you can see 3z plus 9 minus 11 and on subtraction you can see 3z minus 2 uh, if we subtract 9 minus 11 we can get 3 we have to find gx but uh, you can continue with this z also uh, but we are more familiar with in x as an input variable we are not fam uh, as x is a generic name given to the input variable it is not defined it can be x y z but we are more familiar familiar with we are more comfortable with x uh, so let make uh, z as x when z takes to x this z is this input variable is a dummy variable and uh, like you can see in the market there are dummies uh, someday they were different uh, different clothes in some another day they were another cloth uh, so the input variable is a dummy variable we can replace this z uh, with x then we will get our gx is equal to 3x minus 2 z can be replaced if we input x on the function gz then it will be gx isn't it then it is input variable we can input anything we input z at this time we can we found uh, gx our first tax is over next tax is g inverse which is very easy to find g inverse x and the steps you can see on your uh, top right corner all three steps same steps similar step uh, let y is equal to y is equal to 3x minus 2 we have to find the inverse of gx so we have to suppose uh, y is equal to 3x minus 2 we cannot suppose 6x minus 11 isn't it because it is not gx it is g2x minus 3 we have to suppose a y to be gx now interchanging x and y as you know very well uh, x is equal to 3y minus 2 on interchanging x and y variable and position of variable x and y get interchanged it became x is equal to 3y minus 2 we have to make y alone x plus 2 is equal to 3y still y is not alone so what we have to do is we have to bring that 3 to denominator of x plus 2 x plus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 now our y is alone the, that y which is alone after interchanging is the inverse of g so g inverse x is equal to x plus 2 by 3 uh, question at first look difficult but we did part by part and it now is really easy and now our input must be 5 because we have to find the value of uh, g inverse 5 or we have to find the functional value of g inverse 5 at x is equal to 5 so to find g inverse 5 we have gx g inverse x is equal to this like uh, our previous question uh, when x is equal to 5 g inverse 5 equal to 5 uh, 5 takes the position of x everywhere uh, everywhere wherever there is x that will be replaced by 5 you can see 7 by 3 is our inverse uh, Hope you understand this question. This is also an important question. All the examples, uh, I think we are doing 10 or 11 examples. And at the end, there will be practice question also. And all these examples, these are selected examples and they are very important examples. Okay, now let's move forward to another. Uh, this is 6. Uh, you can see our function. There are two given part fx is equal to 2x minus 3 is also given, and f inverse 2 equal to 7 is also given. Then we have to find the value of this. A variable key. Let's, let's start the solution. 
Now, fx is equal to 2x minus k, it's given. First, we have to find the inverse of function f. So, to find the if inverse of x, in, you can see on your top right corner, these tips. Yes, there are these tips on the top right corner, same. Uh, we have to suppose y is equal to fx, and we did same. y is equal to fx, 2x minus 3, fx is 2x minus 3. Now, next step, as you know, uh, interchanging x and y. After interchanging x and y, we can see x and y got interchanged. They changed their position, and if we can make a y alone, then we can find our inverse easily. Now, let's proceed. x plus k is equal to 2y, and still y is not alone, so x plus k by 2 is equal to y. Now, our y is alone, means that is our inverse, f inverse x is equal to x plus k by 2. Uh, this is our inverse, and next step is we have to find the functional value of f inverse at x is equal to 2. That means to find f inverse 2, we have uh, our inverse as f inverse x, x plus k by 2. And when uh, our input will be now 2, x will be replaced by 2. You can see x is equal to 2, f inverse 2. 2 takes the position of x. On simplification also, we cannot add k and 2 so it will be 2 plus k by 2 now this part of the equation will come to action now and this is in, this is the necessary part of the equation uh, it is necessary to find the value of k uh, we found uh, f inverse 2 now we can equate this f inverse 2 to 7 according to equation you can see according to equation f inverse 2 is equal to 7 or f inverse 2 is 2 plus k by 2 you can see on your screen 2 plus k by 2 equal to 7 on Cross multiplication 2 plus k equal to 14 on in changing the side of 2 uh, 14 minus 2 the value of k will be 2. Now it's easy if we break down the equation and if we do part by part then our solution will be very easy and you can pause the video uh, you can copy this you can understand it once again uh, you can replay this part of the video uh, and you can understand again so we uh, we have to move forward uh, let's move to another question that is question example 7 and your question is on your screen inverse is already given we have to find the inverse of inverse now one note we have written on theory part uh, a small note at the bottom uh, you can uh, there was in the bottom and uh, that the inverse of a inverse function uh, is the function itself if we find the inverse of an inverse function now if our function is f inverse x and its inverse, its inverse will be the original function f. Original function f. So f inverse is given, means we have to find the inverse of inverse. Uh, let's start here. F inverse x is given at the note. Uh, the same note was there. If f inverse is the inverse of a function f then the inverse of function f inverse is the function f if we find the inverse of an inverse function then we will get the original function and now let's proceed this is the are the steps same three steps uh, to find the inverse uh, now or right now we have to suppose y to be the f inverse x because we are going to find we are going to find the inverse of f inverse uh, so first step uh, let y is equal to f inverse x that is 2x minus 3 by 5 interchanging x and y and x is equal to 2y minus 1 by 5 and now we have to make uh, y alone so the process will be a cross multiplication still y is not uh, alone 5x plus 1 1 changes its position from right hand side to left hand side and <coughs> 5x plus 1 by 2 is equal to y now y our y is absolutely alone it has coefficient 1 positive 1 uh, so this is our inverse of inverse of our f inverse so f inverse x x is equal to fx is equal to 5x plus 1 by 2 now you don't have to worry if the function is already given in the inverse form if we find the inverse of that inverse we will get our a real function find the inverse of f inverse isn't it so now you can pause the video now you can note it down and we move to another question which is on your screen example Example 8. The question is uh, function is given fx and, and there is one condition 
to find the value of x we have to find the value of x and the condition is given to find the value of x inverse and the function are equal inverse and function are equal it can happen <coughs> then okay sorry our given function is fx is equal to 3x plus 3 uh, as you, you have seen the inverse you quickly find the inverse isn't it wherever there is inverse you just find the inverse at first so to find the f inverse you can see on your top right corner there is the steps and we will follow the same steps let y is equal to 4x plus 3 then interchanging uh, the bell position of action y uh, it will be 4x it will be x is equal to 4y plus 3 x and y can change their position uh, x and y change their position so it becomes x is equal to 3 we have to make y alone x minus 3 equal to 4x you can see on your screen x minus 3 by 4 is equal to y and the alone y is our inverse you can see on the step also that alone y is f inverse x you can see f inverse x is equal to x minus 3 by 4 now we have to find the value of x we have to use the condition given in the equation according to equation according to equation f inverse x is equal to fx we have to substitute the value of f inverse x and fx both now f inverse x is x minus 3 by 4 and fx is already given for x plus 3 on cross multiplication you can see x minus 3 is equal to 4 this 4 come goes to uh, right hand side and on multiplication you can see x minus 3 is equal to 16x plus 2 4 is multiplied with 4x and 3 and x minus 16x the like term will come together like term likes to sit together like this side and 3 goes to another side like the number number and variable variable you can see minus 15 x is equal to 15 x is equal to 15 by minus 15 the value is 1 so our answer is x is equal to minus 1 it's very easy if you follow the given condition uh, we can get, uh, get the required value easily uh, this is also important question as i have already said we have selected question and they are all important now let's move forward Now, ninth question. I guess it is the second last question. At inverse x plus 1, we have done that in the function g also, uh, which was not expressed as gx and we made it gx. Uh, here, the inverse is not expressed as uh, uh, properly as h inverse x, it is given as x plus 1. Then we can we can find it, okay? We can easily find it at inverse x also. Now it's given h inverse x plus 1 is equal to x. First um, thing we have to do is we have to find h inverse x. Now you can see our priorities. First we have to find h inverse x, then only we can find hx. How can we find hx? We have just done one question. Uh, if we find the inverse of inverse, then we will get the real function. So we will find h, uh, h inverse, then we will find the inverse of h inverse, then we will get hx. Now let's do to find h inverse x. First step is to support z um, as x plus whatever inside the bracket will is supposed as a z uh, we did same we used same variable in previous question also z same z variable now z minus 1 is equal to x now we have to replace all the x with z, min, z minus 1 so now it will be z in h inverse z see we have supposed x plus 1 x plus 1 is supposed as z so we have to re we can write h inverse z is equal to 2 x is replaced by z minus 1 this x you can see is replaced by z minus 1 and minus 1 is as it is now if we simplify it a little bit to z minus 2 minus 1 then our z inverse h inverse z is equal to 2 z minus 3 now, as i have already said input variable are dummy variables and we can input x or we can change it it is not it is a generic name to the input variable it can be x y z p q r a b c anywhere uh, we can convert it to uh, as a as x also you can see when z takes to x uh, when input will be x the function will be z inverse x is equal to 2x minus 3 uh, we have found z inverse the h inverse x i have used z instead of h everywhere isn't it <coughs> h inverse x is equal to 2x plus 3 now if we find the inverse of h inverse then we can get hx see to find hx i'll note same note which we have already seen previously <coughs> in previous slide also f inverse is an inverse of a function f then 
Now the inverse of f inverse is f. So if we can find the inverse of h inverse, then that will be our h x. Now let's the steps are given uh, on the top right corner. You can see let y is equal to h inverse x is equal to 2x minus 3. Uh, so first step is clear. First step is completed. Next step interchanging x and y. Uh, you can see x is equal to 2y minus 3 x and y get interchanged. We have to make x alone x plus 3 is equal to 2y x plus 3 by 2 is equal to y now that is our hx isn't it now it is the inverse of uh, which is equal to which is equal to h inverse and its inverse this is the inverse of h inverse so that is our hx isn't it our hx so you hope you understand this. I think this is uh, this. Uh, this is the second last question, and we have one last question to go. <coughs> so understand, student, that uh, if we find the inverse of inverse, then we will get the uh, the real function h, uh, real function h, f, g, whatever it is named as. Now let's move to another question. Now next example ten is. The given condition to find the value of k, we have to find the value of k. Function is defined. Uh, it is given. It is named as f, and it is 2x plus k. And we have to use this given condition to find the value of k. Uh, it will be. Easy. We have to break. Um, <coughs> these are the given parts given on single line. First, we have to find f inverse x. Then we can find f inverse for x. Uh, the steps to find f inverse x are clear and is given on the top right corner. First is we have to suppose y is equal to 2x plus k and interchanging x and y. Second step, you, and this is our second step. We have done first step and second step. You can see x is equal to 2y plus k and x minus k equal to 2y. We are in a process of making y alone and then that y is our inverse. If we can make y alone, then that y will be our inverse as given on the given on the Third state. Now this is our f inverse. Now our input will be four. You can see to find f inverse four. Uh, to find the functional value of f inverse at x is equal to four, we have f inverse x is equal to that is our inverse, and our input will be four. And four will take take the position of x. And you can see on simplification four minus k by two. All the x will be replaced by four. Now, still we have to find f2 also. To find f2, now in the in the function, the f f not in f inverse. In uh, we have to find the functional value of function f at x is equal to two. Now, when we have f2, when x is equal to two, now the x will be replaced by two. It will be four x plus k. Now, if we add these two, if we add, if we add. And this part and this part it is our condition f f inverse 4 plus f it the value will be 7 according to equation according to equation f inverse 4 plus uh, f2 equal to 7 we have the value of, we have the value of f inverse 4 we have the value of f2 also and we can add that you can see on your screen 4 minus k by 2 plus 4 plus k now this is this part is f2 part and this part is f inverse 4 part. So let's move forward. We have to take the LCM to go to the numerator of this part to 4 plus k. Uh, this is process is called taking LCM or simplifying the rational uh, rational expressions, rational algebraic expression on multiplying 8 plus 2k, 2 multiplies with 4 and 2 also multiplies with k. And save two multiplies with seven. The denominator multiplies with seven. Now you can see the simplification: two x minus k and fourteen minus eight minus four. All those number goes to the right hand side. All those number on left hand side goes to right hand side. Uh, eight is positive, so it became negative. Four is positive, it became negative. K is equal to two. Subtraction on subtraction two k minus k, and all these subtraction we get k is equal to two. Okay, hope you understand. 
now this uh, is an exercise for you you can see on your screen it's rolling on your screen now you don't have to get confused if the function is defined like this it is fx is equal to it is fx fx is equal to whichever way the function is defined you can write fx plus 1 it is fx plus 1 you don't have to get confused okay in here also it is fx is equal to uh, these are the examples 2x plus see in whatever way the function is given uh, you can write fx 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 like this is you are very much familiar with the way of writing in this way you are very familiar with writing this way then you are you can you write this way. so they're writing 30 questions <coughs> you can pause the video you can solve all these questions The related question are done uh, as an example. Answer is there for some question. Uh, answer is is not given also. There are 14 questions. Okay, these are the questions. You can pause the video and do. And we finally do the workout example on inverse of a function. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, for more videos, you can check the link on the description. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.